Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and we're going to continue on with our Life's a Party Cricut Cartridge Series and we're going to be cutting out this um, little backpack which we're going to be using part of the pirate theme for this for Ethan's party which is on page 63 so we're going to show you how to cut that out and then we're also going to cut out um, if I can find it really quick let's see where is it where is it where is it well now that I need to find it a little quicker I'm not going to be able to find it so but anyway we're going to cut out the um, the little skull and crossbones whenever I find that so but let's go ahead and cut this out and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm using an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock, and I want to use this with the fit to page feature. So I'm just going to go ahead and load this into my Cricut. And I'm going to use the arrows so I'm just right at the top corner here. So basically, what I did was I loaded my 8.5 by 11 in the lower left hand corner of my Cricut mat, and I'm going to put my cutting blade right at the corner of my paper, and I'm going to hit for this, on this one, it's usually set paper size, but this one says set, set cut area. So I'm going to head and, go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit the fit to page feature, and I'm going to select the bag I'm going to cut, which is the backpack, which is the third one in from the bottom. And once that's loaded, I'm going to hit OK, just so you can see what size this is going to be at when you cut. Not that it really matters, because we're only cutting one of these. Um, if you're cutting multiple, if you're cutting layers for this, you'd want to make sure you check the size. So this is going to cut out at 8 inches, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and unload my mat, and I already have my other mat set up with my next cuts I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load this in. I'm going to put it in just like this. I'm going to load my mat. I'm going to change my, or it's already set at two inches, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I have to turn off my fit to page. And what we're going to do is cut out this skull and crossbone, which is on page 34. So I'm going to cut it out. Um, first, I'm going to cut out this image in black. I'll cut this one in white, and then we're going to also do the cap. We have our box all cut out, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and use my scoring, uh, or my paper cutter, and just a, um, this is a stylus that you would use for embossing, so I'm going to use this to actually create my score lines. So I'm probably going to have to speed through this because there's a lot of score lines, but before I do, I just want to show you one thing on this one. There is a score line right here, this will be the sides of your bag. You don't go down all the way, you only go about halfway. Then there's additional score lines right here and right here. This is going to be where you crease the side of your bag. So that's in two spots. Just something for you guys to look out for when you're, if you're going to make this bag or anything. So let's go ahead and I'll finish up getting all these lines scored. And I think I need more lighting over here. So, all right, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to just do all my score lines and we'll be back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start assembling our bag. Um, first thing we're going to do is, I actually want to do a little bit of stamping and embossing on this. So I'm going to use, I have a thank you stamp. This is from Paper Tray Ink. I already have it on my, my block. And I'm going to use some Versamark. Because I'm going to emboss um, this with the black embossing powder. So I'm just going to ink this up really good. We're going to stamp thank you right on the flap here. Just like that. And then I'm going to use my Lindy Stamp Gang um, Moon Glow embossing powder. Let me just grab a piece of scrap paper here. And I'm going to emboss Thank You. And this is called Midnight Pewter Obsidian. So we're just going to sprinkle this on 
right on top of that embossing powder. And I probably should have used my little embossing putty. I had it sitting here and I forgot to use it. So we'll see how this works. Didn't do too bad. So we'll just get this out of the way and I'll heat, I'll emboss this. All right, now that I have my embossing done, I'm gonna go and fold all of my score lines. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna skip over this one right here and just go right to the next one because this one I'll fold once I have my bag assembled. So I did those lines, I'm gonna do my flap here. And this is gonna be the treat bag that we're gonna give to the kids as they leave um, Ethan's birthday party. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some adhesive right on this flap right here. I'm gonna use my ATG gun for that. And let's see, the easiest way to do this, I found the easiest way to do this is to fold in this piece and then fold this piece over. And adhere that down, okay? So, and of course, there's a little bit of adhesive sticking out there. If you ever, if you're using your ATG gun and you get some adhesive, just use your finger, kind of go across it. It'll roll right off. Okay. For the bottom, what you do, and hopefully you can see this. What you do is you fold in this flap that has the, like the cutout. Then you fold down this two side pieces, and then you fold down this piece, and you just pop that right inside the first flap that you folded down. And then you just stick your hand in there and voila. Okay, so we have the bottom done. I did find that if I'm when I'm doing the score lines on the sides here, using as you can see I kind of made a couple mistakes there. Using my ruler to get that angle and my dry or my um, um, stylus tool here, embossing stylus, it works much better than trying to use your um, paper cutter. So all you do is just pinch in the two sides just like that and I kind of left these I didn't try to fold them or anything I just left them the way they were and that's it that would be the box so before I go ahead and do anything else with this we're gonna go ahead and put together our little skull and crossbones the next thing we're gonna do, be doing is layering our skull and crossbones and I do want to show you one thing I did this opposite and I only did it opposite because it was um, kind of small at two inches so I no, normally what you would have uh, done was cut this piece here out in white and then this piece, which is the shift key, out in black because it gives you this layer like this, okay? And this would be black and would go on top of the white and give you the outline. I'm doing it opposite because it's so small. The piece, this was kind of thin, and I'm surprised I got this off in, in one piece. So I'm going to do this opposite. And what I'm going to do first is start by layering my, my bones. And I'm just going to use my tweezers and my new favorite product, or... It's not new, but my new favorite thing to use when I'm doing my Cricut pieces, which is the Tombow Mono Adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and layer all of these on here. The reason why this is sticking to my mat is because I accidentally before, this is my second time filming this, because before I glued my, one of my pieces on the wrong side of my black piece. So I kind of wiped it off and think I got enough off. It didn't really matter because I was going to be adhering that down anyway to my box. So that's that piece. The next piece we're going to do is the skull. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my adhesive to this. And this will go right here. Put a little bit too much 
glue so it'll look just like that. Okay? And the next thing we're going to do is put our little cap on our, our skull. Okay, so that is that. Oops. I'm getting it stuck into the mat because I... There we go. Okay, so before I go and start putting my back, uh, box together here, I'm going to take my um, black soot distress ink, and let me just find it on my wall here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just distress the edges using my foam applicator here. And do that to the top of the box as well. So I did all of that, and then we're going to go ahead and close our box. And to close my box, I'm going to use just this kind of thick cotton um, rope. And it's not really that thick, it's pretty thick though. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right through the holes. If I had a really needle with a thick eye it would probably work better but I don't have one. And then I will run this right through the top of my box. And then we'll tie it closed. I'm just going to tie a bow since I want to be able to open this. I think a knot would be better, but I'm going to tie a bow because I still want to have to fill this with candy because this will be the little treat bags that we give to the kids as they leave Ethan's party. And we'll trim this off. And then we'll adhere our skull and crossbones to our box. And that'll go right at the bottom here, just like that. Okay, so that is the tree box that we're going to be using for Ethan's party. And he did request that you guys decide because he can't decide. So all you have to do is leave a comment um, on here on my YouTube channel or over on my blog on what you think is better, the skull without the cap or with the cap. He can't decide. He told me, exactly told me to tell you guys to decide for him because he can't make up his mind. So um, just leave a comment and tell me what you think. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.